It's the same path for Washington as it was 12 years ago. 11 seed, Sweet 16, get a two seed out of the Big East in the Sweet 16. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, glad to be alongside MSG Network, Compass Media, College Basketball Insider, John Rothstein on your previews presented by State Farm. Washington and West Virginia in the East Regional. And John, when you look at this ballgame, the offensive style for Washington and the amount of points they're putting up against the defense for West Virginia. And Washington's offense is so potent because of really one man, and that's Quincy Pondexter. It's six foot six. He represents a difficult matchup at that four position, Jason, because he can put the ball on the floor. He can penetrate to the basket. He also has a very nice pull-up game. When you want to talk about all the ingredients to a great offensive weapon, it's all in Quincy, Quincy Pondex. And, and they're averaging more than 80 points a game in this tournament. They scored 80 against Marquette. They scored 84 against uh, New Mexico. How does West Virginia stop that offense? Well, it's nice if you're Bob Huggins to have a guy like Devin Ebanks, one of the best defensive players in the country. I mentioned Quincy Pondexter as the biggest threat offensively for Washington. And Devin Ebanks, if West Virginia plays their traditional man the man will definitely get some time on Quincy Pondexter but the interesting thing about Ebanks is he can also do a lot of things defensively on their point guard Isaiah Thomas I mean in this year alone Devin Ebanks guarded Pittsburgh's point guard Ashton Gibbs held him without a field goal in the second half of their win over Pitt and he also held Evan Turner without a field goal when West Virginia played Ohio State Devin Ebanks a spinning image of the former Indiana Pacer defensive star Derek McKay crucial for them defensively also will be important for them offensively to give them a second option. Kevin Jones, same thing, but their number one option, there's no doubt about it, it's the Big East Conference Tournament MVP, Deshaun Butler. Have you ever seen a player take and make as many clutch shots this year as Deshaun Butler has done for West Virginia? I haven't. The biggest thing that separates him from other two guards and wings across the country, his ability to move without the basketball. He runs constantly trying to get open shots because when you look at West Virginia's offense, they don't really have an initiator at the point guard position. That is what makes Deshaun Butler so special, his ability to move without the basketball. All right, John, where do you think this game will be won? What part of the floor? I just don't think that Washington has the ability to rebound with West Virginia. I remember watching the Big East Tournament Championship when West Virginia played Georgetown, and Georgetown, who's a pretty burly team physically, didn't have the capabilities of handling West Virginia on the backcourts. I think Washington's going to have a lot of problems getting to the offensive glass. West Virginia, remember at times, plays five players on the court between six foot seven and six foot nine. That's too much to ask the Huskies to match up that, with. That, that is a lot, and then you have Deshaun Butler bringing the ball up. It's very difficult for a Washington team. And let's not forget, this is not a very good defensive team for no. Washington, though it has been a completely different story and a different Washington team here in uh, the 2010 NCAA tournament. For John Rossi, I'm Jason Horwitz. Enjoy the game up at the Carrier Dome. Take care, folks.